welcome back so today I'm going to show you how to make a text earlier I made a text video so today I'm going to make a text video too but in this tutorial I'm going to make a text with a uh, with light that is moving let me show you an example here just now I made this and made it render so let me show you you will make a similar shape uh, like similar blendering and it's very easy actually you just need to animate it and yes you will learn a lot in this tutorial so this was our base you will make everything that's our light it is just moving as you can see it's very simple so let's get started first of all open a new file in blender general after that first of all every human on earth that is using blender he will or she will or anyway delete this, this cube and then select your camera and light and then hide so h is for hide so we it's very big. Now we will add a new object called text. Shift A text text. Let's just zoom in. Go to the uh, object data properties, the A, and then alignment. We will make it center first of all. So let's just yes like this. Now we will write what we want so I'm going to write my channel's name Teens Club so like this if we don't know how just go tab and then write like I will write again because it was wrong a bit yes and then tab again so you can just move it okay now let's just uh, bold and like yes like word blender is like word and text so go to this text properties down here geometry I have very uh, I don't know how to say this word to make it yes like this the first one, offset. This will make your um, <laughs> I don't know how to explain, but it's very hard. You can see. We have to leave it on zero because I, I think you have to leave it on zero. Because actually, if you will leave it at zero, it's better. This will just make your writing thick. I made it. I will make it zero point zero five. No, no. The e's are not coming so it's just it's it's just thickness let's just like this 0 0.02 meters extrude we want to extrude how big we want it to be so I think I will take about 0 0.1 or more let's see we will see Bebel, let's go to Bebel. Depth and thickness also. Actually, I will leave it at 0 0.05. I think it will make my writing teens club my channel's name, of course. <laughs> it will make it thicker, like bold, very chubby. I think I will leave it 0 0.02. I think, yes, this is fine very cute or you can just um i think that's right 0 0.03 no 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 0 0.02 was the best one actually resolution resolution actually i'm still learning of the text i'm still a beginner like you i know a few of the things um i still don't know what the resolution is um I will leave it at zero. Oh, I remember it's the lines, the smoothness. Yes, 
the smoothness you can see when I did here it's very sharp so don't make it thin smooth but actually I love zero so I'll take zero what do you prefer you could take whatever you want so this is our um, text you can just make it big small I'll make it thin it's very big so actually it's very thin I noticed so let's go up here. Where is it? Um, yes, it's true. I think I'll make it one. Um, no, one is good. Let's make it five. Yes, it is better. Top view. So let's go down, down, down. And then, um, let me see. Yeah, the sheer. Did you notice? I will show you what's the sheer. The shear is how curvy do you want your text to be. I will leave it as a, um, I think like this. You can see I did it in the, uh, in the, uh, when I was showing you the, um, my video that is made in Blender, I made the same, like the same. <laughs> This is very big. I love it actually. So I I'm like you. I don't know a lot of things. I will leave it as it is. Underline thickness. What is this? I think it's the thickness of uh, the line. No, that's not it. I will see in the YouTube. Actually, uh, I don't know about everything. I'm the beginner of the text. Wow! Did you notice? Wow, I think I will leave it like this. Yes, the world space, the space of the world. Okay, line space. I don't know a lot of things. This is to move it your um, uh, object or your <laughs> uh, text. Line space. Uh, let's see. Oh my goodness, what's this? Wow, it's the first time actually I'm making this. So, um, uh, no, zero is perfect. You don't want to touch that. Let's see. Oh, it's very cool actually. It's the first time doing this. So, oh. Uh, Let's see. So that's it. Texture space. This looks very cool actually. Let's see what will happen. When I was a beginner in a text, very beginner, I made a, um, uh, a text that can go uh, to the hub. Yes, I remember. I want to show you something. That thing, excuse me. What I will show you, it will be in interesting, but it will not be part of our, um, actually, our tutorial, but I will show you if you want to use it. Shift A, Shift A, Curve, Bizarre. I will take this one. Grab X, I will just go there. Yeah, <laughs> very small. Let's make it big, very, very big. So grab X. We can just shape it. I'm going to shape it. I saw a tutorial of a man doing this, and then he added the text on it. So the text was all wibbly wobble, like the text what was on the curve. Let's try. It. Actually, it's the first time. No, so I think it's the second one. Oh my god! Yes, text on curve. Did you see it? Did you love it? Yes, I love it. So if we will move it, like you can see the text is, is moving too. We can just make an animation like a worm. <laughs> very funny like if we I will make it like this 
That's cool. Um, I'm going to move this one like this, and then this one like this. That's cool. But in our tutorial, in tutorial, we won't use this. You can use it, but actually, I don't want to. Okay, so I'm just going to delete the curve. If you love it, please subscribe now or like this video. I will be very happy if you will subscribe. So you can see the shear of our text was gone because it was on the curve. Okay, let's make it like this. Now let's go on number pad 3 and just rotate it on X axis click on R and then X 90 degrees 90 and then let's just grab it to the top G Z and then um, like this yes let's just show the camera and the light um, move, move the camera and the light let's move it like this that is very far Let's just put it for now there. Um, yes. Now we will add a plane, shift A, mesh, plane. Like this, okay, like this. That's enough. Tab. If you want to make a wall, it's no use of making two planes and then joining them. That's not correct. The easiest way is one, two, three. So, go up here, just select the, oops, sorry, select the second one, the uh, second face. How do you want it? Do you want it to be like this, like this, anywhere? But I will do it behind my text, a wall. So, grab that, oops, sorry, uh, I did it wrong. I just need to select that one, grab that. Oh, it's not grab. <laughs> it have to be extrude that. But before I do that, I just do I do. Uh, grab. No, not grab. Extrude an E and then that. What did it have? Oh, I was doing in the wrong way. Okay. E Z. That's better like it. After all, we have to just um, make uh, uh, our uh, camera locked. I will do it like this. I don't want to make any spaces between the text and the wall like we are. When you are afraid of something, just go in the corner of the wall sticking to it. Like the text is sticking to the wall like this not too much, not too close like this, it's enough so <coughs> sorry click on end for this list go to view lock camera to view and again and then you can just um, rotate your cam camera if you want ok I will just Make it like this. Um, I think I will. Yes, like this is better. Let's just move the text a bit down. Uh, like this. No, still not. <laughs> so, go up here. Go to share the. It's very early. Uh, no, no. So now we want to make the animation of our light walking, excuse me, walking, uh, not walking like moving. Yes, the correct word. <laughs> Go to top view and then grab one. Put it. I will put it here, and then I will going to open a new screen. In here, I'm going to go to camera. And then shader so let's shader the rendering mode here also 
tender no not not tender now we are going to add colors to our material so up here and then we are adding colors in the second screen in the first screen that we are seeing in the camera it is changing colors so in this case i'm going to take the background color almost like very very light yellow please and for the light when it will be starting we will take it as peach color so let's make it just um 10,000 um let's just grab it and adjust the lightning here we forgot something we have to save our project Control S, and then I'm just going to uh, do this. And just write your name or anything. So now let's just open the, the coloring here. In the second screen here, go to top view, second. So we will move the light from this screen. We are going to move it. So click on your light, open this big screen, and then we are going to make the uh, ending 85 is fair because um, 250 is very lots. Of, okay, so now click on this circle auto key. Now go here in the color insert key. It will automatically insert your key, which is good no need to open the circle sorry i forgot so now we will jump to 20 grab x in the second screen we will put uh light like somewhere around here change our color i'll put it almost like uh light red that's enough or i click insert keyframe do whatever colors you want but don't forget most importantly you have to move your light now I will say green light green now automatically insert the key grab X I will put it here I will take um, uh, I want pretty color let's take like about this color purple I forgot to jump into the keyframe okay third keyframe oops Um, sorry. Um, yes, okay. Here we will make it light purple and then right click insert keyframe. When we will go to 80, we wanted to change its color to the color it was in the beginning, so we will see it as it is going blue please so we will just copy the first one the first one control oops control c then control v g to grab it we'll put it um over here like this we had the mistake i forgot to add the loops to move it so I will pause the uh, I will pause the video. So I will redo it the way I did it, the way you did it, right? So do the same thing you did, but just do like this. Watch me now. For now, I will do it. In the first one, we have the color peach, right? Click on this circle and then go to the screen and then G, like this. Then close it. Go here. Our light was over here, right? So, so click on the circle, G. So continue like this. It will be easier. So I finished adding the loops that will make my light move. I will show you the loops. So I will for now close this screen. Yes, like this. Let's play it. You can see our light is moving. So now go up here, click on render. We will save it first. Control S. Wait. I will just move my camera more. Control S. 
go to render render animation and then just wait we are in um, we are in EV so it will be very super duper fast now we start at frame 1 we are now in frame almost 15 it just takes less than a second so I will just pause it and complete it so it is almost done we are in frame 40 but you can see in this uh, rendering uh, it's very close to the end so you can see okay uh, so my rendering rendering is done it took less than a second so um, now close your rendering go to render view animation you will see your animation so thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and like and leave a comment bye